And now they dashed on towards Beecher's Brook. And coming to the chair now, this is one of the biggest. Well, the Grand National is a very, very close race to my heart because I was born not far from Liverpool. I've been to every National for 30 odd years. Memories, the first one, a National when I wasn't present. Red Rum's third National, I think, in 1977. As they come to the last fence in the National, and Red Rum with a tremendous chance of winning his third National, he jumps it clear of Churchstown Boy. He's getting the most tremendous cheer from the crowd. They're winning him home now. I was playing football on the day in an under-18s game. The refs stopped the match so the players could listen to the National on the radio. There's a furlong now between Red Rum and his third Grand National triumph. And he's coming up to the line to win it like a fresh horse in great style. His hat's off and a tremendous reception. You've never heard one like it at Liverpool. Red Run wins the National. Attributes for a National winner. There are some very straightforward ones. You need to be able to jump well. There are 30 very demanding fences. They may have changed those fences, but they are still very daunting. Secondly, stamina. This is a race that's been shortened slightly, but it's still going to take around nine minutes to win it. So you want proven stamina. And I think, by and large, these days, you need a horse who's approaching a peak performance, a horse who might be capable of improvement. So many good horses have put on layaway with Aintree in mind. They forego good quality, valuable races through the winter to be kept fresh and well handicapped for a race like this. So the shortlist is a fairly long one at the moment. Sea bass towards the top of mine but entry in April is always spectacular and this year will be no exception.